I was 18, I became pregnant. And um, at that time it was, I was shocked and um, scared and it was all about me. Well then, um, time went on and I had met someone else and um, became pregnant again. But this time I was 24. At 18, you know, um, I, I wasn't mature. And again, like I said, it was all about me. But at 20, 23, 24, um, I'm an adult now. And I believe that, you know, the Lord has put in everyone to know what is right and wrong. And so I became pregnant and the guy that I was with, um, he wasn't ready. Now, um, when we were planning on getting married, you know, we were talking about marriage, but he said, you know, I'm not ready, I don't have the money, blah, blah, blah. And so because out of what I thought was love, I agreed to um, have the abortion. And so um, we went and I, inside, internally, I just struggled. I didn't want to, but because out of love, what I thought was love, um, I went through it. And we had the counseling. There were people who were um, um, anti-abortion, pro-choice, no, pro-life, I'm sorry, pro-life, and saying, you know, don't do this, don't do this. But it's like, psh, what do they know? And so anyway, went in and had the counseling. Um, and the whole time, I just was struggling and I didn't want to do it. So it got, kept going and got to the time of the procedure. And the inside of me was screaming, just screaming. And, um, but, um, you know, I, I did it anyway. And um, to this day, I, I regret not just one, but two. Not only did I take one life, but I took two. What I, I know I carried was a shame. And so as I looked up the definition, the one, the first one is a painful sense of having done something wrong, improper, immodest. So immodest is in the management and or behavior. So at 20, you know, three or 24, that's definitely. Um, the, the third definition was a cause of feeling shame, which um, that I believe that is true because when the, um, abortion word was spoken, my head would come down. I always felt like there was this, this thing on my back, so to say, that I couldn't lift up my head at all. And then the fourth definition was something to um, regret. As an adult, here I am, and I'm still, um, you know, I'm gonna say haunted by this and if I had someone to talk to if at 18 years old I after the initial shock and the fretting and everything if I had someone that I could talk to who would have you know laid out the options for me then this stuff and carrying it through my life would not have had to occur. So um, my heart's desire from the Lord is to be able to talk with and minister to those boys and girls, men and women who have either, as you're saying, you know, thinking about and or have already gone through it because I've been on both sides. And so from the darkness into the light, you know, we're talking, you know, many, many years of this secret, of this dark thing. And so I brought it forth and I was afraid because I didn't know what they were gonna think. 
You know, how can this person who was a leader in this church, you know, when we're back at this other church, do this when she's, you know, had not one but two. And so I didn't want that thing to be exposed. And so I shared it and there was nothing but love and acceptance.